Welcome to this video. This video will explain the characteristics of the operations of organizations or companies using the 4 V's typology. The main characteristics of the transformation process of input resources into outputs are generally categorized into these four dimensions. So, what are the 4 V's that are used to characterize the operations or the transformation process of an organization? These are volume, variety, variation in demand, and visibility. The first V, volume. This refers to the physical number of products produced within an operation. This V is used to describe the repeatability or systemization of the operations process. When this V is dominant within the transformation process, the aim is usually to reduce the average costs of operations, products produced, or services rendered. The second V, variety. This V refers to the flexibility of the transformation or the operations processes in responding to the customer's customized orders. Trying to achieve this attracts high costs as there is no one size fits all with customer's orders or demand. The third V is the variation in demand. This V refers to the changes in the patterns of demand. This is largely dependent on the type of demand the organization handles, which could be a dependent or an independent demand. Put another way, Variation in demand has to do with how much changes occur in demand over time and what business model an organization adopts to respond to them. The fourth V is visibility. This V refers to how much of the transformation process does the customer experience or how far into the operations is the customer able to see. It also describes how long the customer has to wait for their orders to be delivered. These are the four V's of operations management. Now, Let's go through each V, one after the other and discuss their implications to the operations or transformation process within organizations. Volume. Volume refers to the volume of output produced. When volume is high or low, what are the implications to the operations of an organization? High volume. When volume is higher, there occurs a repeatability and systemization of the tasks involved in the transformation process. High volume production is usually capital intensive and involves the use of automated processes. Also, because tasks are systematized and repeated, it is worthwhile developing specialized processes. This allows for a low unit costs of production. Low volume. When volume is lower, the transformation process is less automated. The repetition will also be far lower and the number of staff will be lower possibly only one person will be involved in the transformation process. Therefore, individual staff are likely to perform a wider range of tasks. This may be more rewarding for the staff, but less open to systemization. Also, it is less feasible to invest in specialized equipment. Variety is somewhat the opposite of volume. When variety is high, volume is usually low, and when variety is low, volume is usually high. So, when variety is high or low, what are the implications to the operations of an organization? High variety. When variety is high, there is high flexibility in operations which makes the transformation process complex. The operations must be designed to meet the bespoke needs of customers. Trying to meet highly customized customer demands attracts high costs of running the operations. Low variety. When variety is low, Volume is more likely to be high in this instance. That is why with low variety, routine tasks are well-defined and the transformation process is highly standardized. With low variety, customers are not allowed to customize their orders or demand, hence the low unit cost of production. Variation in demand. Demand is not predictable, and this will affect how the operations of an organization is structured. Recognizing why demand varies also helps you increase your operation forecast's accuracy. This also helps an organization to match its capacity to demand. So, what are the implications of high and low variations in demand? High variation in demand. Anticipating the required capacity and planning ahead due to little or no knowledge of the nature of demand is what is required in this instance. When demand is unpredictable this is called an independent demand. This requires a high level of flexibility in the operation to be able to respond to the uncertainty. 
That is why it is closely matched to high variety in operations and low volume. Low variation in demand. In this instance, the pattern of demand is stable and easy to predict. The operations manager has full knowledge of the demand and it is easy to plan for. This type of demand is called a dependent demand. Responding to this type of demand results in high utilization of resources and unit costs are likely to be lower compared to a highly variable demand pattern. Visibility. Visibility is concerned with how much of a company's operations are exposed to the customer. The more involved in the operation the customer is, the less tolerant they are, and vice versa. So, when the visibility is high or low, what implications does it have on the operations of an organization? High visibility. High visibility means high unit cost and customers have low waiting tolerance for their demands. Customer interaction is very important when dealing with high visibility in operations. Due to customers' low waiting tolerance, to meet their demand, this requires a high utilization of resources. This high utilization drives up the unit cost of production. Low visibility. Low visibility permits lag or waiting time between production and delivery. It also allows for the operation standardization of the operations. This drives down the cost of production or operations. However, staff involvement or utilization is high when there is low visibility. Based on what we've discussed so far, all four dimensions have implications for the cost of operations within organizations. Put simply, high volume, low variety, low variation and low customer contact all help to keep processing costs down. Conversely, Low volume, high variety, high variation and high customer contact generally carry some kind of cost penalty for the operation. At this point, pause the video and think of an organization and a product produced or a service rendered by the organization. Then, apply what you have learned so far about the 4 V's typology to the organization and come back to continue this video. To summarize, we have discussed the characteristics of operation management using the 4 V's typology. Volume. Volume refers to the quantity of output. Variety. Variety refers to the different types of products or services produced by the operation. Variation in demand. Variation refers to the predictability of demand and matching this to capacity. Visibility. Visibility refers to the involvement of customers in the operations. These are the four V's typology of operations management. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one.